B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. On June 26, 2024, at Rosewood Phnom Penh, the American Chamber of Commerce in Cambodia organized a special luncheon focused on the securities and exchange regulator of Cambodia's vision for the Cambodian securities market for the next five years and beyond. The workshop was presided over by His Excellency So Chiet, Director General of the SERC, and featured the participation of SERC delegates, AmCham board members, and various representatives of private sector businesses. According to the updated national determined contribution, our government has prioritized climate mitigation and adaptation in its national development strategy, requiring an estimate 7.8 billion USD in funding. So, the market will play a crucial role to bridge the financing gap. Therefore, I see have put in place many actions to support the sustainable development. We have adopted the guideline on the issue of green social sustainability bond, and we also work closely with development partners, including ADB, TGI, and UNSCAP, to promote the listing and investment in sustainable bond through providing capacity building and technical assistance. Regarding the digitalization, that is also the vision of SDLC. We start with our digital security sandbox, which is the environment for the firm to experiment with innovative financial products or services. So right now we have one has been approved in sandbox, many, many more under with the rise of interest rate and so on, we can see that liquidity exists in the market, but for matching with the competent borrower and so it's a bit hard. So from your experience in fund management and so, how would you really uh, see like from the US experience as well on on how this kind of uh, fund management activity or how uh, we should do to really uh, mobilize the finance in the country. It starts with really um, basic education. Uh, that the U.S. market, I think, is about 50% of, or more, almost 60% of households invest in equities or funds in some form. Where today, uh, I, I would imagine that's, uh, you know, it's kind of like the insurance market. The penetration rate is extraordinarily low. So we have to educate the market. Uh, we have to make people understand that this is very much a part of developing our economy. The government has to support it as well. It's probably the major second source of FDI. Uh, when we start having foreign investors come in, we, we saw that we have very little foreign investors uh, at the moment that have open accounts. So if we want international fund managers, we want foreign investors, we want to see the sovereign wealth funds in Singapore and the Middle East uh, start investing in us. Um, we, we have to uh, really market ourselves a bit more and get more liquidity in the market and more scale in the market. So once the market starts taking off, people will see that there's actually returns in the market, uh, that uh, there's scale in the market, and there's actually uh, investment in the market from international investors and local investors, and they'll start joining in as well. There were a lot of uh, questions from the ground as well, talking about uh, what is the stand of the SERC on the crypto asset or digital asset, those kind of uh, new exploration? We start to work with the company that have the, what we call the innovation technology that could uh, support in terms of service or new product for the future market. And we work together on this. And with this new product, we not allow the retail investor to join in, just only qualified investor. Because it's very, very volatile product and a lot of risk that we need to control first before we could allow the public investor to join. So that's why uh, we just start as sandbox a testing procedure for this year. But as you see, had the vision to put in place the regulation with the end of this year or early next year. How we could, you know, uh, regulate the new product. How we could uh, understand well about the blockchain technology how a regulator could join in in this new area of uh, fintech technology. So all of these things need to be in play first before we allow the company to go as far as they want. And I think that uh, to, uh, to regulate this product is not only SELC could do alone. 
we need to work with our central bank and we need to work with some line ministry because you know not only the new product coming as you mentioned the new scam uh, the new you know a uh, lot of things come uh, along together so that's why as the role of a regulator we need to think about the investor protection first before we allow the new product on the platform